Hey, what's a video game that would have been perfect had it not been for that one thing? For me, that honor goes to Tony Hawk's Underground. Tony Hawk's Underground is a 9.5 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10 on a bad day. What prevents the game from being a 10 out of 10 is the stupid ass <laughs> driving missions. I can't stand these things, man. <laughs> Johnny Turbo. Credit to Neversoft where credit is due. I definitely respect them for always trying to be innovative with the series and trying to keep the series fresh. The missions themselves weren't necessarily difficult, they were just annoying. Don't even get me started with that stupid leaf blower mission. Or that one mission in Moscow where you're driving that tiny little compact car and you have to pick up all of these girls for that dude's party that's apparently gonna help you get back to the United States so you could seek revenge on Eric for one last time. I can't tell if one vehicle drives necessarily better than the other because they all feel like they control the same to me. They all feel like they're about 200,000 tons and steering is next to impossible. Don't even attempt to back up because you're gonna hit something. These maps are definitely not designed for vehicles in mind. But I think it's safe to say that Neversoft definitely learned from their mistakes because while Underground 2 still had vehicles in it, I actually prefer the vehicles in this game than the ones in Underground 1. You'll be controlling Stevo, right? And he'll be riding a mechanical bull, but you're still able to jump, flip, grind, all that cool stuff. It still felt like you were controlling a skater, not a vehicle, and I think that's what really made it fun. So just to reiterate, Tony Hawk's Underground is an amazing title. You definitely should play it if you haven't already. I think it's the best Tony Hawk game, one of my favorite video games of all time, but the only thing preventing it from being a 10 out of 10 is the driving missions. I really believe that if Neversoft took the time to refine the driving mechanics, it probably wouldn't have been that bad. It probably would have still been a 10 out of 10, or preferably if they would have just taken those things out altogether. That's my opinion. What about you?